Welcome back, Pokemon Trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and we are still hyped from last week's victory in TCG Online over Charizard EX. It's been plaguing the channel for the past several videos, but last week's strategy using the Golbat, Crobat line, um, and de-evolving using Porygon Z, finally just got enough damage out there and destroyed Charizard EX, so the Fiery Dragon no longer holds any power over this channel, or will it? Because I'm actually going to bring another online strategy together here. And I fully admit that the strategy I've put together with these particular cards is not that effective against EX Pokemon. And you'll see why as we get into the, uh, the deck building part of it. But this Pokemon, or the, this deck is going to feature the Pokemon Claydol from Ancient Origins and a really unique attack in its first attack, which takes one Psychic. It's called Rewind. It lets you de evolve your opponent's Pokemon. Now, how's it going to come into play? Well, you want to put some damage on them and de-evolve them to a lower stage. And to get that damage on, I'm actually going to feature some Pokemon from a previous set, the X and Y base set, called Greninja, with Water Shuriken ability. Let's take a look at the deck, and I'll tell you all about it. So let's take a look at this new deck that I've put together, labeled Do the Time Warp, because we're going to be rewinding the opponents down to uh, previous evolutions. So the card from the Ancient Origins expansion we're focusing on will be Claydol, here you'll see it's a Psychic Pokemon with 100 HP, evolves from Ball Toy, and the first attack, one Psychic Energy, Rewind. De-Evolve, I'm not sure how you pronounce that word, De-Evolve, De-Evolve, I don't know, I like De-Evolve. So, De-Evolve each of your opponent's evolved Pokemon, and put the highest stage evolution card on it into your opponent's hand. The attack is decent, not really that powerful. Hyper Beam for a Psychic and Colorless does 30 damage, and you flip a coin. If Heads, discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Mainly, we're going to use Claydol in the deck for the Rewind. We have two Claydol and three Ball Toy. And, to get damage on the opponent, for the most part, we're going to be focusing on these Greninja from the X and Y base set. The first feature of this Greninja is the ability Water Shuriken. Once during your turn, before your attack, you may discard a Water Energy from your hand. If you do, put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokémon. So this gets around things that will protect Pokémon from damage, such as, like, Mountain Ring, or some abilities that prevent damage while they're benched. Placing damage counters is still going to get past that uh, protection of not doing damage. Mist Slash, for one water energy, does a decent 50 damage, and it's not affected by weakness, resistance, or any other effects on your opponent's active Pokémon. We are going to be able to increase that, however, and I'll show you in a little bit. But, for the Pokémon, finishing them up, we've got three Greninja, three Frogadier, and three Froki. This only leaves us with six basic Pokémon in the deck, but... You know, hopefully it's going to be enough to get us into the, uh, you know, get us into play, not have to mulligan too many times, which has happened in my playtesting. So the idea is going to be trying to use Water Shuriken and getting some good damage on the opponent's Pokemon. Then when they have enough damage, that say like you know two wa two Water Shuriken will do 60 damage. If the basic form of that Pokemon has 60 HP or less, then we're going to be able to use Rewind de-evolve that Pokemon back to its basic form, or at least the next stage down, and once the attack is finished, the damage is counted, 60 damage on a 60 HP Pokemon, we're going to get a knockout using the Rewind. So we don't even need to essentially do damage to knock out the Evolve form, we're going to knock out the basic form. Now, for the trainer cards, to try and get my Greninja into play quicker, we have two Dive Balls, one of which is the Gold Rim, I just wanted to show that off. And we're going to be using a lot of energy, like discarding it, so there's going to be a number of ways to get energy back. I have put one energy recycler in here, which lets you shuffle five basic energy from the discard pile into the deck. But since we want to discard energy from hand, I do have four energy retrieval, which will let you take two basic, wa or two basic energy, mostly water in this deck, from the discard pile into your hand. We have an escape rope to help maneuver Pokemon on the field, two Evo sodas to get our evolved water types and clay all into play, two level balls to get any Pokemon of 90 HP or less out of the deck, and we want to be able to get our water energy, so we got three Professor's Letters. Healing purposes, we do have a Super Potion, and two Versus Seekers to get back two of our supporters. Those supporters are going to be one Lysandre, and this is the full art that you can get as the final prize in the current uh, Versus Challenge. I do have a Pokemon Center Lady for additional healing purposes, uh, Pokemon Fan Club to get a couple of basics out of the deck, and some draw support in Professor Birch, Shauna, and Tierno. We do have Wally, who is going to help us get our evolved Pokemon out of the deck. 
and a zero sick to discard a tool card or special energy attached in play. So I did have a couple of some of these supporters. I think I had two fan clubs and two Tiernos at one point, but I decided since I'm going to run a couple of Versus Seekers, those kind of take the place of any of my supporters that have already been used. So in a way, you can say I have three you know, Pokemon fan clubs. So I got two stadiums in here, both rough seas. I'm going to be able to heal 30 damage from my water and lightning Pokemon. It's also going to work for my opponent too, so I have to be careful with that. Suddenly, if I'm using water shurikens against an electric type or a lightning type, they're going to be able to heal that 30 damage from the shuriken using my own rough seas. So I'm going to play that only when absolutely necessary. And I've got a couple of hard charms in the deck that I want to attach to my uh, clay doll because I'm hoping that it's going to be in the active spot using Rewind while my Greninja are using Water Shurikens from the bench. I want Claydol to be able to survive the hits, so that's why I've given it, or I'm hoping to give it, the Hard Charm. Now, if Greninja does find itself on the battlefield using Mist Slash for 50, which isn't being affected damage-wise by weakness or anything like that, I do have a Muscle Band. It doesn't say Mist Slash is unaffected by effects on your own Pokémon, so this Muscle Band is still going to do an additional 20 damage with the Mist Slash. You're going to do 70 damage, which hopefully can get some knockouts after you've used a couple of Water Shurikens too. And since I do realize, even though we did get a victory over Charizard EX last week, the EX Pokemon are still an issue, I'm including a couple of these Jamming Nets to weaken damage from opposing EX Pokemon. And that's also why I still have Zero Sick in the deck too. If they, attach a, uh, an, if they attach a tool to their EX, I can use Zero Sick to discard their tool and attach the Team Flare Jamming Net. Now, energy cost for the deck is we got 3 basic Psychic and 10 basic Water. That's all we're going to run. we got 13 energy and 14 Pokemon leaves, 33 trainer cards in this particular deck. Now, this is not going to work well if we do come across an EX heavy deck because there is basically no de-evolution that can be done there. Uh, EX Pokemon are all basics. Mega Evolutions can be de-evolved, of course. One benefit there might be is if the opponent has, let's say, a Tyranitar EX and Mega Tyranitar EX, if we can keep de-evolving that Mega Tyranitar EX, it's going to keep ending their turn whenever they Mega Evolve again. So that's one possible way to keep this deck from uh, being overwhelmed by EX opposing EX Pokemon. There's no telling if it's going to work out, though, until we get into the match, which we're about to do right now. Let's see how well we fare in TCG Online. Alright, Dar1998. Decked out in the shiny Primal Groudon attire. Looking pretty fancy. So we're going to do the Time Warp, which he already did because he Primal reverted back to uh, shiny Primal Groudon. Kyogre, did I say Groudon? I meant Kyogre. Alright, so the coin flip is heads, and he gets choice of who goes first. He shall select... Hmm... Tough call. Okay, I guess I get the first turn, because I'm glowing green. So the opponent... I should have looked at his hand. Alright, so we got Froki. I did see some dark energy in there. We're going to be able to evolve into Frogadier with Wally, and then if necessary... I will take a card, thanks. Okay, there's that Evolutal EX I was concerned about. However, I'm not overly worried, I guess, because we do have a Jamming Net immediately putting that on there. And let's put a Water Energy to the Froakie. We're going to Evolve to Frogadier. Next turn, we're going to be able to Versus Seeker Wally back to hand and Evolve all the way up to Greninja. So I could play the Stadium, but I'm going to wait till next turn. I don't want to play it, then have him discard it. So we're going to pass the turn back. Fortunately, Greninja only needs one energy attached to be able to attack, so the Evil Ball from Eveltal is not really going to be that dangerous. So come on back, Wally. We need you once again. And Greninja hits the field. So let's go with a Water Shuriken, doing a nice, decent 30 damage. And Miss Slash for an additional 50. Two more turns of that, and this Eveltal EX is going down. Of course, now they've just healed 60, so that's going to slow things down a little bit. No, we can still take it out in two turns. Alright, dive ball. Just in case, let's get another Froki onto the bench. You never know what could happen. So, 
So we're going to energy retrieval. I kind of hate losing or using it just to get one back, but in an instance like this, it's probably the best option. So another 30 damage water shuriken done to the Eveltal EX. And Miss Slash for another 50. 70 HP remaining, and we've taken down the evil balling Eveltal EX. Of course, there's a second one on the bench now. Without the jamming net. Hmm. So... I'm gonna bring back another water energy. I'm actually going to water shuriken the benched one. I wanna start getting some damage off on that before it comes up. And we're gonna go miss slash and do 50 to this Eveltal EX. Next turn, I can knock this out with the Water Shuriken and throw 50 damage onto this with the uh, Mist Slash. Of course, the opponent will end right there, and Greninja has already stopped the sweep of Eveltal EX on this channel before it began. Not bad. We didn't get to use the Rewind ability or attack from Claydol, but at least we managed to get a victory against these legendary EXs. Not bad at all. Alright, next up is Tom Ist Cool. Let's do some time warping against Tom. So heads is the flip, we're gonna choose to take the first turn. And we begin with no basics, unfortunately. Now they know exactly what's in my hand, or at least what I have to work with in the deck. Alright, Froki, we have a level ball to get Frogadier, and Greninja is in hand. So we're off to a pretty decent start. I might wanna actually get the ball toy first though. I wanna try and get that rewind strategy off. So the opponent does have a Rhyhorn. We're gonna play that level ball and get the ball toy. To the bench it goes, we're gonna give it the psychic energy and pass the turn because we can't attack the first turn anyway so I could have used the escape rope to switch but nah, I'm gonna hang on to that for a more more useful time. And they have a Golit on their side of the field. Now this Rhyhorn can do 40 damage with its attack, so it's slightly worrisome. In fact, 3 retreat cost, 2 energy requirement, we're going to play the escape rope now. Alright, let's grab the water energy and put it onto the Froakie for if it does come into battle. And future spin, take a look at our deck, and arrange things accordingly. Not much really to work with here. But we can get the rough seas. Not really going to help us that much. I think it's probably the best option, though. And then an energy retrieval and Greninja. What I need is some way to shuffle my deck. Now we see the Rhydon. The Rhyhorn has evolved into Rhydon over on the bench. And it is continuing to power up. So I'm going to hold on to the rough seas for now. I could play it, but there's no reason to. It's only going to. That's not really going to do anything right now. We're going to, again, Future Spin, and hope the third card is going to be more useful. Well, Froakie at least. I think next turn... No, I'm going to keep Future Spinning until I get a decent card off of my deck, and then I can start Future Spinning the opponent's deck. There's a Lucky Helmet, so it's every time we do damage to that Golet while it's active, they're going to get to draw two cards. So, guess which Pokemon we're going to try not to attack. Now, I don't even want to give energy to the Froakie right now. I'm just going to future spin once again, take a look at my deck, and still nothing useful. Okay, next turn we can add a water energy to that Froakie at least, we have another one coming. That Rhydon is ready to go. So let's just throw the energy, and let's use another future spin, and hope for something better. There is a shuffle card, okay, that's what we wanted. Now things are going. We can use that level ball to get the Frogadier out of the deck. Next turn, evolve to Greninja and start whipping out some of them water shurikens. This is interesting. They're going to bring up the Froakie. Okay, so level ball. Let's get the Frogadier. Now what that did, it did just uh, shuffle the deck. So it's going to allow us to use a new uh, future spin. Let's retreat. We don't want to actually do damage to that Golet. And we're going to Future Spin our deck and see what we can get this time. 
Another shuffle, okay. We're gonna use that Evo Soda to actually get uh, Claydol. Ooh, Groudon is added to the bench on the opponent's side. And a Muscle Band has been given to the Rhydon. So how much HP does the Rhyhorn have? 80. If we can get three Water Shurikens off against it, then we would actually be in a pretty good spot. We're gonna throw one right now. Another good thing about the uh, Water Shuriken, I can do damage counters to this Golet, and it won't actually activate that Lucky Helmet. So let's go with Claydol. Probably the best option right now. And we're not going to Hyper Beam that because we're only going to help them by giving them cards. We're going to Rewind and de-evolve that Rhydon. Of course, we're not going to get the knockout right now, but the reason I want to de-evolve that as we go is because if it, gets in, if it evolves into Rhyperior, then we can only de-evolve them by one stage. We want to keep it as low health as possible. So let's rewind again and keep that ride on from fully reaching its, from fu reaching its full potential as a Rhyperior. That Groudon, of course, is not going to be affected by this Rewind, so we have to be careful when that thing comes up. What we need right now is some Water Energy. We have no supporters in the discard pile to bring back to help, so we're just going to Rewind again. Okay, if we can just get a Professor's Letter or something like that, we can actually get a knock it on that Rhydon. Oh, and there's Wally. I think they're going to get the Rhyperior immediately. they do, then the Rewind isn't really going to do all that much right now anyway. No, they're actually going to evolve the uh, Golet into Golur. And what can this thing do? Dig out? Okay. It's another Rough Seas. That's not what I need, though. Rewind. So, de-evolve both of the Pokemon. I can imagine this would probably be a pretty annoying deck to play against, having to constantly de-evolve your own Pokemon. Certainly an interesting attack. So now they're going to start dishing damage out. Now they have to discard the top card of the deck, and if it's not a fighting energy, it's just gone. So, rewind. <laughs> There's nothing more I can do right now. And I'm kind of glitching the cards out. You can see the uh, fighting energy is going through the Lucky Helmet. Whoops. Okay, Shauna, that's what I want. Let's get a new hand and hope we have something a little more... There we go. Alright. So let's play a Professor's Letter. Grab a couple of water energy. Now we're going to be able to water shuriken this Rhyhorn. And since it actually didn't evolve last time, we're going to be able to knock it out. So down goes the Rhyhorn of the first prize of the game. About seven and a half minutes in, but at least we got the knockout. And we got another ball toy. And let's use Rewind once more. Put that Golurk away. What I could do next turn is get a couple of Water Shuriken off on that Golurk, and then Hyper Beam it. They'll get two cards. In fact, that might not be the best idea. They we see Unknown with the Farewell Letter ability. They're going to discard it and draw another card. And they just discarded another Unknown. Whoops. I wonder if I should actually target down that Groudon right now. Certainly a possible idea. Alright, let's go with... Yeah, let's take that Groudon out. It's the more threatening Pokemon on the opposing side. We're going to be able to do 60 damage each turn using the Water Shurikens. And it rewinds because we have no other energy. I was considering Hyper Beam, but I just realized I actually got rid of all the energy from my hand. So 
So actually, the rewind that strategy would work really well if your opponent is using Mega Pokemon and if they don't have the tool cards like the Spirit Links, because you'd be able to keep you know keep ending their turn every time they Mega Evolve. So Pokemon Center Lady came up at just the right moment. We're gonna heal 60 damage. Let's bring back a couple of Water Energies. And the opponent's just going to end it there because constantly de-evolving your Pokémon really hinders your progress in the game. So that's a victory for the Do the Time Warp deck. And it wasn't to full completion, we didn't get all the prizes, but you still see the potential in keeping your opponent from evolving their Pokémon. So we didn't get to fully play out the rewind strategy as I was planning to do, which was to uh, have damage counters on an opposing Pokemon in excess of what the pre-evolve form had, and then therefore get a knockout by using Rewind. But you sort of see the idea. I'm like, you know, my opponent ended that match when I think he saw the what was it, the third energy retrieval that I played, and he knew this is sort of like just a repeating process of cons consistently getting these water shurikens off against his Pokemon, getting knockouts from my benched Pokemon, and keeping him from being able to fully reach stage two with his Rhyperior. And if he had any other stage twos to work with as well, we're going to be able to keep using Rewind and keeping th those evolutions from reaching their full potential. So. With this success here, it's actually going to wrap up all of the sort of unique strategy ideas that I came up with for the new cards from Ancient Origins. And next week, now I said last week that I was going to bring a live TCG match between my nephews. And I decided to hold it off until next week because I wanted to show off this one final new strategy from Ancient Origins. But next week, as a sort of change of pace, I am going to show a live match between my nephews. You can see what their decks are actually like in the physical cards. And following that, what I'd like to do is revamp some of my older favorite decks. Like, let's take a look here. I gotta close it of this. I'm gonna go right back to the very first deck that I ever created. I renamed it Toxic Locks. And the reason I call it that is because it locks the opponent's Pokemon in the active slot using Poison and the Poison Barrier from Dragalge. So I'm gonna include some new cards from the Ancient Origins expansion and other expansions that I haven't actually updated this with yet. I believe I see a level ball in here from Roaring Skies. Nope, this is from Ancient Origins. So I've already updated this deck a little bit. So I want to go back and there's three decks that I'm really impressed with how they work. There's this, there's the Swampert Slurpuff deck, and, although we've already seen it as an Ancient Origins expansion, the Golurk deck with the, uh, the five type Golurk. So what I'm going to do is update this, uh, the Victory Bell Dragology deck, and then the Swampert Slurpuff deck. I'm going to show you some matches with that, and I might actually start doing some online battles against uh, friends and not just random opponents. So that's going to be two weeks' time. Next week's TCG match, like I said, will be the live match between my nephews. So I hope you'll be back here to check that out and see what kind of cards that they're rocking in their custom decks that they take to Pokemon play or play Pokemon events here in my city. All right, well, the end of this video has arrived. I'd like to thank you for checking this one out. I hope you had fun watching all of those rewinds, <laughs> constantly de-evolving the opponent's Pokemon. So, again, thanks for checking out this video. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of it. And for future videos, if you do have any other cards that you would like to see featured, I know I haven't actually done any of the EXs for any theme decks or custom decks. I'd like to do that at some point. So if you'd like to see any particular EX Pokemon used in the TCG Online, let me know which ones. Again, just leave a comment, and I'll see what I can do to get my hands on them, my virtual hands, I should say, and customize the deck based around that. All right, with the end of that, I'm going to get out of here. I'd like to thank you once again for checking this out, and I'll catch you next time.